stars. Hello and welcome to DM Live TV, your channel of progress, of course. This is 2021, and I want to say Happy New Year to everyone who is watching. I want to thank you for taking time to watch this channel. We are growing. Uh, last week we had over 60,000 uh, video views. It's, it's, it's amazing, you know, and we had to bring you content that will empower you, will enable you move from stage one to another. If you're a startup, if you're a business, please just like this channel, subscribe, and surely you will never ever regret. Now, with me in the studio today is the man whom I call the brand master. My good friend, the man I've known for the last 10 plus years, I've seen him drink, eat, and talk brand. But uh, interestingly, this time around, I'd like us to talk about just one thing, because you know, we've, we've been through COVID. The last year was COVID, camera. It was COVID, it was, uh, you know, yeah. so, uh, by the Kongs on staying alive, man. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We made it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. we made it. We made it. We made it. We made it. Yeah, alive. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So I'm glad to have you in the studio today, Kamara. And uh, it's amazing what happened last year. Un unprecedented, tight, business, business closed, closed. Uh, people lost their jobs, you know. But we thank God that she has been able to see us through. And here we are in 2021, uh, alive and kicking. Now, Kamara, yeah. I know you have a plan for the year. Mm -hmm. You have a plan for the for the year for your for your company for your life and family. Mm -hmm. Right now, I like us to talk about the planning for the year. Mm -hmm. What what should a business do now, or what can individuals do now mm -hmm. to make sure they thrive in this very very new year? Maybe for those who don't know, yeah, Kamara, you can just give this himself briefly and, uh, and we okay. proceed from there. Yes. Yeah, there's always an assumption that when I am here, people know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ariel Kamara is my name. Yes. I, I am the team lead at Nomad Advertising. Mm. Uh, we are making 10 years this year. Wow. We started in July 2011. 10 years? Yes. So okay. we have 10 years in, in July. Mm. Um, Precisely, I think on the 19th. Okay. Uh, so for us, this is a gateway. It is a gateway. Um, I mean, it's very nostalgic because around nine years ago, mm. uh, at this time, uh, we were, it was just an idea. Yes. But now here we are, by God's grace. Yes. I, I, I just want to delve into the question that you asked. Yes. Uh, and you, you made a remark about planning for the year. I think. I once had someone saying, when you wait for January to plan for the year, you're late. You're late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, so, because so the previous year kind of shows you a sneak peek on what is going to happen in, in, the, in, in the new year. Yes, yes. You, you know, even when we were going through school, we had what we called mocks. Mm, mm, uh, yes. So yes, yes. media, they mock you. Yes. Uh, and they show you. They, they shake you up. Uh, and they're like, man, I'm not <laughs> ready. Mock, mock used to be so hard. Yeah. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. So they, they, they kind of send those exams, which kind of uh, shake you up and get you to realize that actually you need to pull up your socks and plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So I, I would like to say that really for many businesses, small businesses, even large businesses, 2020 was really a mock. I'm telling you. It was a mock yes. exam. And, yes. uh, and if no, if all business owners or mm. entrepreneurs did not smell the coffee, mm. 2021 is even going to be harder. Yes. Yes. And I believe all businesses out there are restructuring, they are rethinking their, their, their plans. Mm. Uh, everyone had to kick in a business continuity plan. Yes. And if it's a, if you're in a business continuity plan, it's like mm. a performance improvement plan for those who are in employment. Yes. yes. You you don't step down from that. Yes. By the way, uh, you know, I know you have a question to answer, yeah. but you you tackled a very sensitive point. Yeah. What did you do? What was your plan? What do you mean? <laughs> 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 but I, I'll tell you to be very honest. Yes, because um, I know. Mm -hmm. Just before you, I know that nugget will help a startup or a company today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what. If you see, you cannot learn how to swim without getting wet. Yes. So yes. most of the things that are shared here, either on the vlog 
songs, wherever. Mm. People are sharing from their own experience. You can pick a thing or two, but you need to be in it yes. for you to really know how uh, how it will go. Yes. yes. Uh, uh, I read a quote somewhere where someone said that the best sailors are not determined by calm waters. Mm. Mm. You see. Yes. So when a sailor is telling you how to go through waters, and they are a decorated sailor or whatever you want to call them, mm. or even a pilot, a decorated mm. pilot. Yeah. The, the, you will listen to their testimony of how they went through turbulent uh, times. Yes. Yes. But yes. those turbulent times keep changing. Mm. I remember sharing with my team uh, a video clip from a video called Suli. I don't know if you watched it. No, I watched it. You should look for it by mm. John Hanks. Mm. Suli was about, uh, it's called Miracle on the Hudson. This guy who had a double bad strike as soon as he took off and he needed to land the plane quickly okay. because he lost both engines. Basically, he had an aeroplane which was like a glider. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Okay? Yes. And uh, people from the control tower were telling him, come back, no. we're we glad the runway for you, but he was telling them, I don't have the power to make it. Yes. I cannot make it. I don't have the engine to take me there. Yes. And he had to make a decision and he told the guys, find me the Hudson River. And he landed the plane in the Hudson mm -hmm. and was right. able to save everybody on board. That was, I think it's, yes. it's about critical thinking, yes. making decisions quickly. But I'll tell you, mm -hmm. this is the funny part in the mm -hmm. end, that the insurance companies blamed him. For, for, for not landing? For, for not, not, they said he had the ability to land. But, but how? We have no engine. Yes, we have no engine. <laughs> <laughs> but they were saying, you know, in hindsight, everybody becomes an expert. Yes, exactly. You see, exactly. in hindsight, experts. everybody yes. becomes an expert. Yes. So everyone was telling him you could have made it, you know, you, you should have done. But the guy was saying, I had 24 seconds to make, make a decision. decision. Yes. And he was saying, my career, which spanned so many hours of flying, mm. was being judged in 24, in 24 seconds. seconds. I know. You understand? Yes. And for me, watching that movie during the time of the lockdown mm. was an eye opener. Okay. That okay. you have critical decisions to make. Yes. that you are not going to call for a conference meeting. Yes, as a businessman. As a businessman, yeah. So you must make those you decisions. You must make the decision, because if yes. you don't make the decision, mm -hmm. you are dying with all those people on board. Yes. Now, if you have a business yes. that employs a few people, you are, it's not only you. Mm -hmm. It is mm -hmm. selfish of you to think about you, but it yes. is the other people that you employ. They have families they have involved. Families. They're dependent. They're dependent. Yeah, so you need to make a decision mm -hmm. that does not, you don't have to call for a conference meeting. The guy couldn't start calling conference tower yeah. one, tower he two. He had one hundred twenty four seconds, no, seconds. Wow. to make a decision, wow. and that's how businesses have uh, really operated mm. in twenty twenty. The people mm. who have been able to navigate in business, people who have been able to navigate in twenty twenty one, have made critical decisions, wow. and those critical decisions mm. have enabled them to grow a certain muscle that they need mm. in order to so, carry on. So what's that one thing that you did that you think? That you think saved your company or helped your company go through the yeah the COVID times. I wouldn't say it is it's not one thing, but mm. it's one of the turning moments was mm -hmm. really turning to information. Okay. Information was power. Okay. I remember attending a webinar mm. and this gentleman gave us an acronym mm. called Strong. Strong. How to get out of the pandemic strong. Okay. And I remember it was like a switch went on in my mind. Wow. Okay. And this is how we explained it. In order to get out strong in the pandemic, strong is an acronym. S means strategy. Strategy. Have a strategy. Mm. What is your strategy? In the pandemic, we really went for low-hanging fruit. Can yes. we reach out to our existing customers and see if they can give us small business? Can okay. we find small businesses that are trying to reinvent themselves? So we're no longer looking at the big contracts. We're looking at small so, contracts. Yes, yes, small, yes. many small contracts that mm, got us. They help you be sustainable in the short term. Exactly. Yes. So we needed to be strategic. Mm. That was the S. Mm. The T was to have a target. Okay. Because when you aim at nothing, you hit it all the time. Yes. So yes. we needed to have a target. And the target was how many customers do we call every week? Mm. Because if we increase that uh, 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 sample space, mm. the ability to find a customer who is willing to use your service increases. Mm. We also knew how many, uh, we also asked ourselves, oh, how much money do we need to make every week? Okay. Because that informed 
how we call customers, okay? That inform uh, what the, how, uh, the amount of discount we need to give in order to close the job, okay? You understand? So mm -hmm. we had targets, financial targets, okay. real financial targets, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Then we went uh, for the R, which was to rally the team. Okay. Now we rallied the team who were on Zoom every day. You, you, you mean your team? My team, yes. yes. Who were yes. on Zoom every day and mm -hmm. everyone was really looking to we were looking at the same thing. So we're asking questions. What are you working on? How can we help you? Yes. First and foremost, how are you? 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 Because it's very easy to assume. Yes, exactly. Everybody, everybody is okay. Is Do you have yes. internet connectivity? Mm. Yeah. Have you had power? Mm. Would you have a meal? Mm. I remember we had to make a strategic decision and say, okay, we, we have done so many things, but let's buy food for, 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 for the team. And, 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 say, yeah, yeah. And, mm -hmm. and give them at least some woods. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it, just basic things like that, finding out what their heart health is, how mm -hmm. they are, mm -hmm. uh, so that everyone was working towards uh, the mm -hmm. same thing. So we rallied the team. Mm -hmm. They're always for optimizing. Okay. We need to optimize our processes. Mm -hmm. So we no longer had the luxury of going for one, two, three meetings to make a decision. So we really need to optimize. So we found ourselves having to shorten the amount of time we spent on the job, we, the, the amount of hands that need to handle a job. So mm. we optimized mm. and, and uh, that helped us save on resources. It helped us save on time mm. because we need to turn around the work we are getting a lot faster mm. in order to reach out for some more work. Mm. So we really optimized our processes. But then N is for the numbers. And this N really for those who are watching this is even in 2021, mm. your business needs to be a numbers-led business. Okay. What, 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 what do you mean? By numbers, is, just, numbers don't lie. Just uh, break it down for. So, so the numbers I'm talking audience. about. The numbers I'm talking about is, uh, uh, what are the critical numbers you need to look at? Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. You have targets, but you have a compelling dashboard of okay. of parameters that you need to look at in terms of numbers to show you where you're going what direction you're headed. Like how you drive a car. Mm. You have a number that shows you where the gauge is. Okay. Is it in half? Is it in full? Is it in empty? Okay. You have a gauge that shows you the temperature. Okay. Is the car overheating? Is it at the right temperature? You have one that shows you the speed at which you're moving. So mind the numbers. Yeah, let, me, let, me, let me first, uh, let me first uh, yeah. interrupt you a bit. Uh, yeah. When you mention dashboard, yes. of course, us in IT, we understand dashboards, but the Mutua ones, yes. <laughs> the, the person who is starting, <laughs> yes. the person who is starting, mm. maybe you could break it down also. Uh, yes, dashboards, dashboards are good and nice, but of course they must have numbers that feed them. Exactly. For them to them exactly. Nice. So are you talking about, look, look at how many cards you have, how much they are bringing in, uh, for example, the 80%, the, the 80 20 rule. Yes. Like 80%, yes. 20 percent of your clients actually could be giving you uh, 80 percent of your, of your revenue. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So those are the numbers you look at. Like, I, like you say, where uh, if you look at the numbers of, of your previous customers, mm -hmm. which customers, based on the numbers, mm -hmm. which customers do you need to call? Exactly. Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. my using numbers to inform decision. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So and then yeah, like so basically it is. So that is the dashboard I'm talking about having having uh, information data driven uh, um, uh, analytics for you to be able to make that critical decision. So for example, mm -hmm. one of the tough decisions we had to take was to say, uh, as a as a business, we we've been privileged to save some money mm -hmm. to keep paying salaries even when we're in a, in a financial okay. situation. Mm -hmm. But no one anticipated COVID that, that's, because that's also good planning. Yeah. But no one anticipated COVID because we've always had that thing of it could be for that one person who's maybe yes. unwell, yes. so you can keep paying them even when they're unwell. Mm -hmm. You know, things happen, life happens. Mm -hmm. But we never anticipated that all of us would be away from work. Yes. yes. You understand? We always knew maybe one or two. Yes. But we never anticipated that the entire team would be away from work. And also, the 90% of the revenues possibly would be. Uh, yes, would be reduced. Yes, yes. you yes. understand yes. it. Yes. Yes. So it was what we got to learn was the, the unprecedented, the black swan. Yes, <laughs> yes. So, yes. so that that in itself kind of uh, gave us now looking at the critical numbers and the decision we needed to make was: do we keep everybody on a full salary during this period, okay. or do we actually take a strategic decision to say 
we are going to reduce the amount you're getting now, now. Mm -hmm. But we are the, the the reduction is not to say that uh, you're not being productive, mm -hmm. but is to say that even as we work and try to get our position right, yes. we want to lengthen the amount of time we can stay. You, you, your runway, exactly. Yes. Yes. How can yes. we make the runway longer? Yes, yes. yes. So yes. that is exactly uh, the, the thing now. The, those numbers are critical. Mm, yeah. Mm. So knowing the numbers, knowing where your gauge is, and knowing what decision you need to take mm. in order for you to be continue to remain. Relevant. I want to keep back. I'm, I'm curious. I'm curious to to know because mm. you said you 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 increase the number of calls you're making for for pre clients, mm. but but I'm, I want to assume or want to think that. Those guys you are calling are also surviving. Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, so did you did you take those cold calls? Did you did you get uh, your teams bashed back? You know, like please, we are dying. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some of that training, yeah. some of that. Uh, it's in, it, during actually those calls, we got some feedback. Some people are not happy with the service we gave them. Mm -hmm. So what happened is we found a data analyst, mm -hmm. a man you know very well. Yes, uh, yes. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. from, yeah, apart from. Yeah, I, I, actually, I think we should, well, we should invite Arthur one of these days, yes. and he talks about the power of data and numbers. Because I'm yeah, sure, yeah. actually, you know, he's the best Excel analyst. Yeah, uh, we have we have in the country. So, at, at least, at least what I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so Arthur put all, all our figures mm -hmm. right from when the business uh, was started yes. up to today. So he had about nine years, uh, oh, eight oh. and a half years of, of data to work with. Okay. And he was able to show us something that I had never seen. Mm. And these are growth opportunities or clients lost. Yes. So just last year after doing the, 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 the numbers, you could tell that for, for last year from a potential sample space of 300 customers that we yes. could have potentially served, Yes. We only reached twenty-seven percent. Mm. Okay, mm. those are the twenty-seven who were able to give us the revenue that we need okay. in, uh, in, in, in twenty twenty. Twenty twenty. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But things uh, going better, we should be able to reach the remaining seventy something yes. that we couldn't reach. But because we already now know what our growth opportunity is. Yeah. So, so does that mean that you you actually found out which clients you had lost? Yes. Or which clients you have made more money from? Yes. 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 No. So the pandemic got us to actually getting those numbers because we needed to have a data-driven business. Yes. It was yes. no longer yes. we are serving people and people are happy, uh, but okay. it was a case of saying we now really need to know are they happy. Yes. One of the things that happened is that we had a client we had lost, mm -hmm. and we did not know we had lost them. Oh, that, that's, we, that's, we, that's so common. Yeah, that's so common. we did not know we had lost them. So mm. what happened is that in making those phone calls, mm. we got feedback that they were not happy. Mm. Mm. We had yes. conversations with them, yes. and we were able to get business from them yes. after an apology and yes. saying we will make things right. Okay, okay. I, I, I hope yeah. we made, I hope <laughs> we made them right. <laughs> we did. Make, yeah. Yeah. So we we let me let me first of all we had really strong. Yeah, you remain with the so the G the G yes the G is mm. very critical the the, the give us game mm. so we practiced generosity. Okay. So some of the things that we did, you know, the Bible is very clear. It says that give and it shall be given to you. Yes. Press mm. down, uh, shake it together, mm. and run it over. Yes. And so we found that there were people who were in a worse state than we were. Okay. Um. So we support some charities. So uh, one of them is a church organization where we gave some money towards their. COVID fund where they're trying to look after families and, okay. and feed them. Okay. You know, as a business, sometimes you can't do everything on your own. You have to work through partners. Yes. So our generosity has been through church organizations, but also we work with another organization that looks after the elderly. Okay. And uh, we were able to send them some money to be able to help the elderly because the elderly were very, very vulnerable. Well, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. yes. Then we also supported some of our clients, our very, very good paying clients who are going through. So one of the clients that we serve is a bank, mm -hmm. and banks need to remain open during that time. Yes. They need their staff to be safe. So mm -hmm. we bought sanitizer that we shared with oh, them. Yes. So by practicing the giver's game, we actually gained more because there was a lot more conversation. Yes, and we, yes. people got to see what the heart of business is. Yeah. And this, this morning, I was listening to Simon Sinek, and mm -hmm. he was saying that the reason you buy a car is not to get to fuel it. The reason you buy the car is to get you from point A to point, point B. B. Yes. But fuel is what gets you there. Yes. The reason we are in business is not to make money. 
but to accomplish a greater good. Yes. But making money is important because it gets the business moving, just like fuel gets mm-hmm. the business mm-hmm. in current mm-hmm. mode. So I found that that analogy was very good, but because we are in business to transform lives. Thank you. Now, yeah. that you've, you've hit a very important point, mm. a very good point where basically your client mm. should not only see when you want to pick money. That's right. Get That's as right. as in the only phone call you make to the client mm-hmm. is not when you when you yes, just demand you notice. demand demand mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how you voice you know yes, how yes, you play yes, fair yes, you know yes, yes. so you should be seen to give yeah you should give yeah you should be seen at this to give I, and then g- generosity or giving mm-hmm. is 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 the antidote for for poverty yes because yes. if you cannot give it means you have nothing yes okay mm-hmm. everyone has something to give if you cannot give money give time. Time. Yeah, give 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 some give some. Well, uh, by the way, if you just joined us, uh, this is DM Live TV, and I'm with uh, Ario Kamara, the CEO of Nomad, Nomad Advertising. Uh, we're we are chatting, and uh, he's just uh, giving us uh, a heads up of what, what to do in the new year, yeah. how, how he has planned. I know he usually plans mm. uh, for for he, for the for the uh, family and uh, business. So so and and if you're new, please just subscribe, mm. uh, hit the hit, hit, hit that bell, and. Uh, is just just relax, sit back and relax. There's a lot of stuff that you're <laughs> <laughs> going to get from this channel. Yeah. Uh, we we are we are growing it. Um, and th- thank you for supporting us. Th- thank you for viewing uh, this uh, this very channel. Mm-hmm. So, uh, camera, mm-hmm. uh, as we conclude, mm-hmm. uh, a business which is which is planning for for, for the year. Mm-hmm. Yes, you've given us a strong. Mm. Which other, do you have any other nugget you love, you like to give them? Maybe a startup, uh, maybe the one which either either closed and started and it's hoping to, to restart when the only, when the only lockdown opens. Mm. You know, when we finally get back to, to, to business, mm. by those, and, and really some, some countries are closed, are still closing yeah. again. Yeah. So we don't even know mm. if there's going to be another lockdown. Mm. So we just pray that things normalize and maybe we get vaccines uh, and, uh, and, and normalize. Yeah. But but as someone who is starting in a, a new year, mm. what should business expect? Uh, what, what, what should they do? Those who are closed? Anything, any particular that you want to give to a business? Yeah. Um, I would I would say, again, just to, to use an analogy, mm. I, I, I shared with you just yesterday mm. about Noah's Ark. Yes. Okay. Yes. And uh, I had the preacher saying that uh, in the ark where Noah was mm. to be preserved with his family mm. were animals. Yes. And animals are quite small because <laughs> <laughs> they never had air conditioning and all these things. Yes. So yes. it is yes. made yes. inside the ark. Yes. But outside the ark there is a storm. There is a storm. So do you want to be in the smelly act or you want to be out in the storm? In the storm. So what I can really tell someone who is starting is to say, mm. whether you start or you don't start, mm. it is the choice is yours. Mm. Do you want to be in the storm or do you want to be in the act? Yeah. It's going to get messy. Even, even in the even, even in the, the act, it's, it's going to get messy, messy yeah. and all those things, yes. but you don't yes. want to be in the storm outside. Yes. So my encouragement to people who are starting businesses is to get started. Yes. Get in, it's messy, it is smelly, mm. it's all the things that sometimes you haven't seen, mm. but it will preserve your life and you will begin to, to, to see progress. Things will get better, obviously. And um, maybe to add, you see, you see when, when we mention starting, mm. people think of money, lots of things. No, starting means as simple as writing something down. Right. Yeah. So when you write something down, tomorrow, mm. in the next line, we'll find the first line there. But if you don't try today, then you, the, the second line won't find the first one. Yeah. Line, yeah. line tomorrow. So yeah. even even writing your idea down, yes. adding your objectives, mm-hmm. uh, just putting a few guys you want to call to, you want to call to, to inquire about or, or do some research. Mm-hmm. That's all starting. Mm-hmm. So don't think of banks, don't think of money. No, starting just even with your notebook, mm-hmm. you can start to write what you want to do. Mm-hmm. Add other guys who you want to to call. Uh, call Kamara, call who you know. I have an idea. Can you? Can you? Can I have five minutes of your time? Yes, you know. All that is starting. Yeah. yeah. So don't wait to have millions to start. But by the way, in business, you become a circumstantial leader when you start a business. Now, yes, yes. by the mere fact that you started this thing here, before you know it, you have to lead it. Yes. And not all technicians are leaders. Yes. Yeah. So yes. most of us have found ourselves in a position where you need 
to learn to lead. Yes. True. You are the business owner, but now you are the one who is capping it because you have maxed out your ability to lead. Yes. So how yes. what do you do in those cases? So like you rightly said, I believe, and I've heard this from one of my mentors who says that your next stage is a person you haven't met, a book yes. you haven't read, yes. and a place you haven't been. Yes. So can you have an experience? Go to a place and see how they do things. Yes. That is a door to your next step. Can you call up people and speak to them? Those people are going to give you an insight. Can you pick up a book and read it? Yes. So the, 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 your next, the, the, your, your breakthrough mm -hmm. or your next step is a person you haven't met, mm -hmm. a book you haven't read, or a place you haven't been. Or start an MBA at YouTube. <laughs> 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 we're, we're all students. We're, we're, all, we're, all, we're students. all students. We're all we're students. All students. Yes. There is a lot of content yeah. on YouTube, but if you want to just do a self help, you just read and empower yourself. That's so right. just just get up in the morning, uh, get a video, get something to do, do it. <coughs> As in, do something uh, mm. for, for even. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Of course, we've all been hit by the lockdown, by the pandemic. Yeah, yeah but we, we cannot we cannot die. We cannot we are not frown forever. No, we must get up. Mm. Stand up, dust ourselves, and move and, on. And, yeah, yeah. So, uh, anybody else? Or you? Oh, yeah. Well, well, it's it's all good. Mm -hmm. Many people. I mean, people have been saying, okay, we came from pandemic. Now we are going right into an election. Mm. I, I am telling you, when you go to Facebook and what you see, people who are not who are not sleeping, you see people mm. who are actually uh, using the season. Uh, I had this epiphany at some point mm -hmm. that everything in life is a seed. Okay. And okay. every moment in life is a season. Mm -hmm. If you are not sowing, you are reaping. You are reaping. And if you are not reaping, you are sowing. Mm -hmm. So the question you need to ask yourself is, right now, even by watching this video, mm -hmm. are you reaping something or are you sowing something? Sure, something? Because what we have done is share with you mm -hmm. and hopefully that will sow a seed in your heart. Yes. So yes. we have been sowing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you need to take that seed and, and, uh, and fertilize it. And in due time, you will reap. Yeah. So if you are not sowing, you are reaping. Mm -hmm. If you are not reaping, you are sowing. Everything is a seed, and every moment is a season. Amen. Those are my parting shots. That, that's what we say. Amen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, it's been me, yeah, your host, uh, Dixon Mushama, on the DM Live TV. Yeah. Uh, with my guest, uh, Ayo Kamara, a very good friend of mine. Yeah. Uh, the CEO, CEO and founder of Nomad yeah. Advertising. By the way, if you ever want branding, uh, logos, uh, brand strategy, uh, just, just if you want to see brands, look for Hostelite brand. Mm -hmm. You can see them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the guys have branded us from day one yeah. up to up today. So they brand uh, many companies. So uh, and, and they are they are they don't only brand, they guide and, and direct you. Actually, if you're a startup, you know, if you're a startup, just look, just look for normal advertising. Uh, they, they'll just help you in your brand journey. Yeah, uh, uh, and and you won't break the bank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye bye. Until next time. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh,